this question may be asked directly or as a follow up to a previous question related to date add function as the date add function cannot give a year before date how can one obtain a date that is not present in your date table so you may be asked what is the best way to get the year before date of a given date without using the date add function how can i subtract minus 1 year from a date the date function can handle this you can subtract or add year or month or days from the respective portion of the date function to use the date as the date add function to subtract one year you can use the date function in this format date function year part of date minus 1 comma month part of date comma day part of day you can use the year part of the date function to subtract or add the year you can use the month part of the date function to subtract or add the month the same way you can use the date part if you want to subtract days you can simply subtract the desired number from the date that is the most effective method to subtract or add the desired number of days this is a better approach because sometimes when the day part becomes zero in the date function it might not work properly it works effectively when subtracting the same number of months and years even if those become zero however it faces challenges when days become zero if you want to subtract a few days from your date let's say this is my date you can simply say date minus 30 if you want to subtract 30 days this method works well and is more straight forward avoiding potential issues remember that the date function has three arguments year month and day you can manipulate these arguments to achieve the desired calculation additionally it's worth noting that when using the date function ensure that the day value doesn't become zero in the day part of the date function as it can lead to errors let me show you how it works in power bi desktop Let's go ahead and create a new column one year in the Power BI date table. I want minus one year. I need to split my date into day parts, year, month, and day, and use it in each part of the date function. Date function year of date of date table using year function minus one comma month of date of date table using month function. and finally the day of date of date table using day function i'll say date i'm taking the date function and in the date function i'll say here of date minus 1 that's what i want here and again in the day function i have to give the argument now if you observe this new column in the date table you can see we have data for the date january 1st 2020 we can get the date january 1st 2019 which is not present in the date column of the date table as let me do one more thing let me also subtract one day from the date part of the date function and you can see the new column is showing an error this error is because of the fact that we are getting zero in the day part of the date function which it cannot handle however you can subtract one day from this new date or simply subtract it from the original date in this way you can use the date as a date add function without worrying about whether the date is present in the date table or not however unless you come across a situation where you are using dates and td then you need a previous month's function in a measure since continuous states will be available then and if continuous states are not available we may not have the data in such a case we can safely use the date add function i have mentioned the same answer on the slide here you can answer this question by mentioning the date function if someone asks you to get a date before you can use the date function itself hope this video will help you understand how to use date as a date add function